Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a fun video. It's going to be an entryway console table makeover. This literally cost me about, I would say $8 total to do this makeover, including the supplies. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do hit that like button and let's get into this video. Okay, to start, I got this spray paint from Walmart. It's the two times ultra cover flat white. And I spray painted my table with three coats of this outside and let it dry. This spray paint is amazing. Next, I bought this contact paper from Walmart. Um, it is in the, you'll see a bunch of this paper in one section. Um, and this was $5 for 20 feet you get. And this paper is amazing. It's very durable and so easy to use. And I highly recommend this. I will try to link this paper below. On the back of this paper, it has like a measuring tool. So I suggest get a pen and measure out the area you need to cut to fit on your project. So I'm just going to use my pen and just mark where I wanna to cut to fit it to the top of the console table. Next, I'm going to cut out the size I want to fit on the top of the table. And you wanna to try to do this pretty accurately and straight. I love that the back of this paper gives you this option so you're able to measure and make your projects pretty precise. Okay, now I have the size that I cut and that I need for the top of the table. So I'm just gonna lay it out and cut off the excess on each end and just kind of line it up on the table where you would like to put it down. Next, I'm going to kind of stick it to the edge of the table and smooth it out. This part can be a little tricky. You wanna get underneath the paper and kind of pull it underneath as you're smoothing it to make sure there are no air bubbles. So just kind of take your time on this part and you will have no problem. Just keep smoothing as you're pulling all the way till the end of the table. Just kind of going back over it and making sure there are no air bubbles. And there you go. Turned out great, there are no air bubbles. Absolutely love the way this looks. Now I'm gonna repeat this process on the bottom. So I'm going back in and I'm using that paper that I had left over and measuring out the paper for the bottom part of the console table. Now the same as the top, I'm going to smooth it out and pull as I go and repeat the same process. Just to make sure there are no air bubbles, just make sure. And now I'm going to add my snake plant for a pop of green. Absolutely love this plant. And this gold lamp I switched to because it gives it a pop of gold on the marble. Absolutely love the way that looks. Next, I'm gonna bring some books in for some dimension and this really good candle that I bought. It smells so amazing. Absolutely love it. I picked it up at Big Lots and I'm going to light it for a little bit of coziness. Next, I'm gonna put this picture frame here to balance out the lamp on the opposite side. And there you go. Now I'm going to put this basket down here for a little bit of texture and to fill in a little bit of space on the bottom here with a blanket hanging out for coziness. And this is the overall look. I absolutely love the way that this turned out. You would never know that this was fake marble. It's so high end and it only cost $5. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed that makeover. It was so simple to do. You guys should head down to Walmart, check out their supplies, super affordable, and you guys could make over anything in your home and make it beautiful as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.